Hey everyone, Shemim here, and welcome back to another episode of our Gibraltar Challenge. Now, after the disappointment of the last video, hopefully this one is going to be uh, something special. Hopefully we can walk out with the Bright Stars trophy, as well as the league. Now, the league, I think it's going to be difficult for us to lose, to be honest. We're three points up with about a 20 goal better goal difference, so uh, barring a complete disaster, the league should be absolutely fine. Bright Stars trophy final, I want to walk out with that if I can. I think our team is definitely strong enough, and talking of which, let's get straight into the game. I'll show you the team. We've changed things up a little bit again because, obviously, last time we had two very difficult games that didn't work out well for us. Uh, first of all, in goal, we have to go with Lee Victor because uh, Ketchin is injured. Uh, so Lee Victor's going to come in for this game. I want to try and play Lee Victor more anyway, to be honest. Miguel Eraldi plays at left back. In the middle, we have Luis Eduardo. Playing alongside Petro. And at the right we play Chao Cesar. CDM today is Matteo Costa. He's going to be running the game. Then on the left we have Denis Sigeev. On the right, Rildo Clodadialdo. These Brazilians with their weird names. Attacking midfield we go with Guto. And the two strikers are going to be Jao Gabriel and our top goal scorer so far this season, Chris. So let's give an opportunity. He normally plays out wide, but we're going to play him as a striker today, see how we get on. Passionately, we're going to tell them that uh, we owe a bit of retribution after the last game. We do. We deserve a win here, we really do. I don't know how we deserve it, but we should get a win. I want to get a convincing win as well. I want to really put the nail in the coffin of Lincoln Redim. So after that defeat we had to them last video where, I mean, we threw it away. It was Chao Cesar lost the ball in his own penalty area and it was a disaster. There we go. Straight away, five minutes in or six minutes in. Rildo, Claude Aldo with his second goal of the season and his first goal of the night. Put us 1-0 up very early on. I feel like this is probably one of our strongest formations, you know. Guto's ball in and then slid straight past the key. But I like this formation. I think this could be one we stick with for a bit, you know. I do like it a lot. Right, 1 0 up. We need to keep building on this now if we can. Get ourselves second goal, just a bit of a bit of comfort. Mateo Costa with the free kick. Luis Eduardo heads it home. There we go. That's what we needed, just a bit of comfort in this game. Right, lovely free kick by Matteo Costa. He must have quite a lot of assists now this season, you know. Must have loads of assists. And Guto's having a good game. I think Guto seems to play much better as a cam. When he's not dependent on to get the goals, even though he's got a finish in a 16, which is why I keep putting him a striker. But when he's not like, sort of, I don't know, when he's not the, uh, the one being relied on for the goals, he seems to be a lot better in the game. Or maybe it's the fact that the cam is generally a bit more open position-wise. They've got one back. Jevan Figueres. Okay, well that's disappointing. Kirk Hartley again, involved in the goal with the assist. I mean, I can't click on Kirk Hartley, can I? Kirk Hartley's just always caused us trouble. I'm just wondering if we should nick him. Gibraltarian, 23 year old. He's got pretty decent stats, but scouts don't think he's that great for us, but he always seems to cause problems. Every time we play off against Lincoln Red Imps. Costa's ball in once again. Cleared by Gardner. Only as far as Guto. Gabriel. There we go. Offside. <coughs> I do apologise. I've still got me cough. I do apologise for the horrible noises in the background. Uh, he was offside just from Guto's shot. So yeah, it is correct that it should be disallowed. 
Um, I'm happy how things are going at the moment. I mean, that goal we conceded is uh, makes things a little bit more complicated. But I think so far we we are doing okay. We're going to send more plays to the performance. We're going to try and keep them happy. I think after the last episode, we had a couple of losses. Morale is down a bit, so we need to try and keep everyone happy. There you go. Half an hour remaining. Let's make some changes here. Um, Joe Gabriel's not having a very good game, is he? But there's not really... I mean, we could. Okay, let's take Gabriel off and let's switch that around. So, Skibrudak comes in at attacking centre mid. And then Guto can go in a striker. Uh, let's also bring on Aka in place of Chao Cesar. We want to give Aka an opportunity to sort of get his, get his mind back in the game after missing that penalty in the previous game. We want to just try and help him get his mind back in it a bit more. Fresh legs on the pitch as well. You never know. Mateo Costa's ball in. Luis Eduardo. Wow. He all of a sudden has become so dangerous in the air. I mean, the last couple of games, he's been knocking goals in for fun. Lovely ball in. Luis Eduardo. Heads into the back of the net. Lovely. Right, 15 minutes remain. And we lead, or well, 10 minutes remaining now, and we lead. Let's take off Matteo Costa. Let's protect him. Bring on Tiafilo Ravello. Six minutes remain. We just need to not concede two goals now. So I'm pretty happy how this is going at the moment. It's Kirk Hartley again. He's offside. Whew. He does look, he's such a good player, that Kirk Hartley. I am tempted to pick him up, you know. I am tempted. I mean, his stats aren't amazing, but I don't know. I mean, we do have good left mids anyway in the in the shape of uh, Reese Faulkner and Warren Blair. They both like to play left, and Warren Blair, of course, can play right mid as well. But Kirk Hartley just always seems to cause trouble every time we play against them. I am tempted because it will okay, it will take away one of their strongest players. I'm sure it would. There we go, there's the 3-1 win. At least we got ourselves a trophy this time. We needed that. Um, let's tell them we're happy with the performance out there. Let's build that uh, up a little bit. Yeah, I want to have a look. If I click on Lincoln Red Imps, that says their best player is Dan Dawson. Ooh. He is pretty good, actually, isn't he? Was he a free transfer? No, he's on loan. Okay, he's on loan. Uh, of course, they've got um, Christiansen, who scored a lot of goals for them. Lots and lots of goals. And they've got Kirk Hartley, who is their club captain. I am tempted, you know. I really am. Look at look at the, the rating. He's played fantastic all season for them. I am very tempted. I'm going to have a look at that in the summer. Have a look at it in the summer. Anyway, uh, we're going to move forward. We've got one more game left. It's the National League game against Lincoln Red Imps once again. And here we go then, final game of the season. Like I said, we're three points up at the top of the table. Uh, a draw will do it. Then again, a loss will probably do it anyway, because we've got 20 goals, better goal difference. So we should be absolutely fine in this one, really. Um, Team-wise, more or less the same. I forgot to show you, didn't I? So more or less the same as what we played last time. Uh, I can show you now. We've got a couple of changes. Uh, Chao Cesar's injured, so Musa Aka comes in at right back. Uh, Sigeev plays... On the right of midfield today instead of the left. In the left, Jao Gabriel drops back. Um, which allows Nicholas Schubert to come in up front. As Guto with the ball. And Guto gets his fifth goal of the season. Beautiful. Steals the ball off the defender and makes it himself, really. Lovely. Oh, we've had a we've had a stadium improvement. You can tell, can't you? It looks different already. I mean, it's not massive, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely uh, bigger than what it was. And it's full still. Okay. Well, it looks like I'll, um, I'll ask for another stadium improvement very soon then. Here's Araldi with the free kick. Took a deflection, tipped over the top though.
Foster's ball in. And Chris heads it home. Chris has been our top goal scorer this season. And he gets himself another one as well. Boom. It's a good header. I, I never see Chris really as that sort of big man, to be honest, getting the headers in. Nicholson plays it in Brown over the top. What if uh, Kirk Hartley would count as a homegrown player then, wouldn't he, I think? Imagine he would do. I am very tempted to go after Kirk Hartley. Just by the amount of trouble that he causes me in every single year. I know I keep saying about it, but... I mean, he's not good compared to the players that we have been purchasing. But to get a player of that quality who is Gibraltarian as well... I feel like it probably would be a, a good shout. It's going to help us out in the Gibraltar Cup. It's going to help us out in... Um, homegrown players for the European championship uh, competitions as well maybe it's a good show right 66 minutes gone let's think about making some changes ourselves Augustin Bolly we've not seen you in a while let's bring you on and Jorge Benitez as well so let's make a double change up front and Lee Smith let's bring you on in place of Petro Make three changes. Let's bring some players on we want to see some more of. Good old Lee Victor there in goal. Getting a couple of games at the end of the season because of the injury to Ketchin. Be nice to get a third goal now as well. Because if we concede now, it would make things a little bit more worrisome just because of how... Well... 2-1 is very close still, isn't it? Chris. Oh, bit of play by Chris. Fantastic. In the box. Oh, Chris. Oh, it was so good until the end. So, so good. Right, 10 minutes remain. We're looking pretty good at the moment. I'm happy how things are going. And that looks like it. We've won the league. That's good. It's still pretty tight, though. I'm surprised how tight it was. But we did get there in the end. Well done, lads. You deserve that. And there you go. That's the end of this season. I forgot to show you the players that we got through the academy this season, mainly because they were terrible again. We got one... Well, apparently this guy's got a pretty good potential, Kevin Wright. Yeah, Kevin Wright. Um, but the player, the only one that I really wanted to show you that I like the look of, I think he's already in the reserves. And I do like him a lot because of his name. There he is, right at the top. Dick King. Good old Dick King. Um, he looks like the best player we got through the academy this year. And who knows, next season maybe we'll get a few more opportunities to show what he can do. But I'm going to go away now. I am going to do the summer. I'm hopefully going to come back to you ready for the Champions League qualifiers with a strong looking squad. I do want to sort of get rid of some of the dead wood maybe. And I want to make sure that we have a good squad, but not too many players. Because that's where I've been caught in the past. Just having too many players and it just causes problems. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this one, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.